Let me acknowledge uh, Blackwater provided security uh, when I was over there. And let me acknowledge how many veterans are working for these companies that are doing great service, that are putting themselves in harm's way, and that are helping us achieve a mission that, frankly, we could not achieve with the number of boots on the ground we can get there in a fairly quick time period. And I don't want to, you know, make this all about that anybody who takes up one of these contracts is a bad guy. That's not the case. But the difference is, when I said in my first round of questioning, I bet you if I had people who work for Blackwater, just boots on the ground for Blackwater, who are seen interchangeably as American soldiers in the roles they're doing, that they would admit that there is not the chain of command and accountability in terms of the rules that they had in the military. Would that be a fair statement? It's difficult for me to put you know, words in somebody else's mouth, but as from my own experience, I think I would agree with that. So really what we have here is we have where the hearts and minds of the Afghan people are incredibly important to this mission. We have two groups of people, both Americans, both being seen as a unified front in terms of what they're doing in this country. We have one group of people that if one of the Army had gone out there with an AK-47 they weren't supposed to have on top of a moving vehicle and shot a guy in the head and paralyzed him, something would have happened in that chain of command. And if they had kept somebody on the force that had been using cocaine, that had been drunk, that had been con charged with larceny, that had done all these things these guys had done, that went out and killed Afghan people in the spring of 2009, something would have happened to them if they were in the military. Correct, Colonel? Yes, ma'am. I mean, this, this would have been a huge deal inside the military, that somebody wearing the uniform would be engaged in this kind of conduct. And what's killing me about this problem with Blackwater is we have two sets of rules and one image. And as long as we have two sets of rules and one image, we're in trouble on this mission. Until the contractors are held to the same standard as the men and women that are there in the uniform, we are going to continue to be back at this. And I don't care how many names they make up for Blackwater. I don't care how many different titles they put on the company. It's still going to be the same problem. And until the military gets that, until the military takes this problem more seriously in terms of what happens, whether it's you not following up on that memo or whether it's kind of this, with who was responsible for the investigation after the incident in December. We're going to be back in this hearing room, and we're going to continue to be stalled on progress accomplishing this mission.